A lot of people ask me where they can get the best PBR textures to use in their projects. There's a lot of websites where you can get these high quality textures from, but sometimes it's hard to find them. So in today's video, I'll give you a list of the eight best sites to download PBR textures for free. But before we start, I will explain what each texture does from these PBR textures. Oh, and don't forget to stick around until the end of the video to get my free PBR textures. PBR stands for Physically Based Rendering, and these textures help create realistic materials in any lighting situation. So here I have my 3D model and with the base color. So this is how it looks. And now if I add the normal map, and with this normal map, you can already see a lot of details, even these small details that you cannot see, if I go back, in my base color. So with the normal map, it creates this illusion of uh, geometry, but it's just an illusion because this is just a, a flat plane, just one plane in terms of geometry. So no, it doesn't have any of this. But here, there is one problem. We have this uh, wall looks like it's completely wet, right? Because this, uh, this uh, reflection here, it's uh, really weird. So what we need here, we need the gloss map. So with the gloss map, it's basically like this. So the gloss map is telling in this texture which parts should reflect more and which parts should reflect less. So when you look at the map here, you can see that the darker areas will be less reflective and the lighter areas will be with more reflection. So it's very important to use this map so you don't have something like this. So this is not correct at all. This is correct. And then the sherry on top of the cake is when you had the displacement map. So this displacement map, it's a black and white uh, texture map. Basically this will displace uh, and the darker areas will be lower and the lighter areas will be like the geometry is raised. Okay, so it creates this extra geometry that it's not there. So if we went back to the first base color, completely flat texture, then the normal map, gloss map, and then when I put the displacement, you can compare how we have now this, uh, all of these areas that you can see that even creates the shadow. So this here, you see now it creates all of these shadows. So it really gives this illusion that all of this um, stone wall, all of these stones are really coming out. And so this gives a, a much higher realism to your renders. And I go a lot more in depth in my Lumion render course into this subject. So if you'd like to learn more, I'll give a link to it in the top right corner and in the description below this video. So the first site I have to show you, it's textures.com. I'm showing you this one because it's one of the oldest out there. And these textures are created by different professionals around the world. And as you can see here on the site, you have 3D scan materials, PBM materials, you have uh, photos and everything is categorized, but you do need to create uh, an account with, in this site. And with a free account, you get 15 credits that you can download up to 1K resolution. So if you browse, the PBI materials, you can see uh, all the materials that they have. And if you go to um, this, this section here, so you can browse, for example, floors. And let's say you like this texture. And uh, let's click this one. They have tellable or uh, not tellable, but they have, see, for example, for the, the free one, it's uh, one credit. It's, uh, it's 512 by 512, so it's not even 1K but they do have a, with a higher resolution. But as you can see, this doesn't have the normal map, the gloss map, displacement, all of these textures that make the PBI materials. So I already showed you a step-by-step -step video on how to create realistic PBI materials with your own photos. So I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and in the description below this video so you can watch it. So the next site I'm showing you, it's the 3dtextures.me. So this one, uh, you have as well all categorized by uh, fabric, floor. So let's say I want some floor textures and you can see here all the selection. So let's say I want this one. And now for this one, uh, you can see that they have a 1K uh, resolution. And uh, when you click download all maps, it will take you to a, a drive folder where you can download all these textures. If you like higher resolution, you can become a patron and then you can download this, uh, this uh, higher resolution textures. Next one, it's sharetextures.com. So this one, they have more than 900 textures. It's a huge selection of textures. And you can also become a patron if you, if you like what they do. And uh, 
You can simply browse here on the top left corner. And now let's say I want to do again some floor or actually let me see some plaster what they have. Okay, let's see this one. So here you can just click download. And again, it will take you to the Google Drive folder. And here you can select the 1K, 2K or 4K resolution. And when you click inside the folder, you can see all the maps. The next one I have for you, it's Texture Haven. On this one, as you can see, all the textures are completely free. You can use them in whatever means you want. And to see the textures, you go here to the top right corner, you have textures, and then you have everything categorized. So let's see some terrain textures. And I like this one. You can download all the maps or simply just download one by one as you need. And when you click download all maps, then you have to select the resolution. In some cases you have even up to 8K. And when you click, it will start downloading immediately. Okay, so there you have all the maps. And on another note, these ones are the same from HRI Aven. You probably know these ones. They have a lot of HRIs that you can use in your project as well for free. The next one I have for you is a site called architectures.org. This one is very interesting because if you click here, launch web app, you can define here the type of texture you want. For example, you can define the pattern, let's say this type of pattern, and then can uh, define how many rows you want, let's say 10 rows, and here the same, 10. So in this case, let's say five. And uh, then you can select the type of texture. So let's say you want some wood. And you can even define the, the, the width. So let's say this will be 200. And here 800, so the same and uh, edge scale so you can make it thinner okay or handmade so it will be with some uh, imperfections or fine like this and uh, the variation of the texture and uh, this can be actually darker see and then when you are uh, happy with all of this you can just click download texture if you don't have an account you can download for uh, 1K resolution, or you can just create an account to download with higher resolution. See, so if I click download, I'll get the texture. Number three is CC0 textures. And this one, it's completely free. As you can see here, they have more than 1000 assets that you can download. And uh, to browse the textures, you can just click here, categories, or browse assets. And uh, let's say I would like to have this brick. And as you can see, they even have up to 8K resolution for free. So just click here and it will start downloading the texture. So number two is Megascans. This one is one of the best sites for 3D and 2D scanned assets. They have thousands of 3D models, textures, decals, among other assets. All of this is being used in a wide range of uh, subjects such as uh, ArchViz, film VFX, games, and more. So when you go to their website, you see here tab uh, free. And so in this section, all the assets, uh, 3D plants, surfaces, everything is for free. So let's say click here. And uh, so you see, you still have some textures that you can get for free. But if um, you want to see their full collection, so they, they even have this uh, separated by, by collections like uh, uh, asphalt, barks, uh, burnt forest floor, so all of this, uh, you can get a subscription. It's, uh, it works uh, by credit system, so every time you download one asset, you will waste one or two or three or four credits. But if you are using this mostly with Unreal Engine, then you can get all of this for free. And I would recommend getting the Quixel Bridge, their software, where you can get all of these uh, assets and you can send them directly when you go here to the download settings. You can select uh, which resolution you want. And when you go to export settings, they already have integrations with uh, the softwares, 3ds Max, Maya, Unity. So you just select the one you are using and you are good to go. Uh, and by the way, I also have a video dedicated just how to use mega scans with Lumion. I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and in the description below this video. So we reached the number one, Polygon. I'm often talking about this one in my videos because they have the best materials that you can get and a lot of 3D models as well. You can buy here a subscription that will give you as well some credits or they also have a section just with free textures. So if you go to the texture here, 
and then you scroll down and you click here free so you can see all the free textures that they are giving you okay you have two pages of uh, well almost two pages <laughs> of free textures and uh, to download so let's say i would like this one here you can select the resolution so you can have for free as well 8k and uh, you can select just uh, the ones that you will be using or you can select all and then click free download and it will start downloading. So there you have it, my list of eight best websites to get the best PBR textures. Remember to always use these textures to get the best realism in your 3D renders. Also to get my free PBR textures, I'll leave a link to them in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified every time I publish a new video. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.